related to Tesla's uh, <coughs> of the electromagnetic spectrum uh, in terms of, of non-Hertzian um, waves. That is yes, one of the yeah. most important things that actually he has discovered. We call them Tesla waves and we call them longitudinal waves. But nobody knows waves. exactly and to define what, what he really. So these are waves meant. in the near field of what a, an ordinary Tesla coil that we here, the see here can produce. Normal antennas uh, um, radiate uh, waves in the far field, so we have uh, normal. Uh, e e EM radiation that we call radio, but yeah. what Tesla was doing actually. But this is also wireless, it is not connected, secondary and primary, it's also wireless. So we're saying we can't, we can't measure his the waves that he We may measure, but the nature of this field we not, don't know. We don't know. Otherwise, you know, we, we would have a better resonance and uh, he also was adding extra coil for atti attenuation. Uh, that was used in Colorado Springs, which was very well uh, um, uh, noted. Yeah. So in the Colorado one Springs one notes are the best notes that Tesla produced of his experiments. Okay. that are existing. So he experimented so about I, three I, months I, with, I, with these extra, extra coils. coils. So he was trying to, to push his primary and secondary coil out of resonance to create an even, even more magnifying effect. And he was producing uh, uh, incredible millions of volts in, in, in his time. Uh, so he used small amounts of energy under specific frequencies. So he, he gave a little in, in one uh, uh, resonance system and he was uh, getting more energy out of it. Mm -hmm. So now at CERN in Switzerland, we are, I think, using megawatts, gigawatts, and we're getting nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no real uh, fusion in sight. He was working with 150 million volts, for example, in, in this rather cliff tower and uh, lightning, normal lightning gives 18, 20, 22 million volts and also with uh, with uh, great power, I mean, with many uh, amperes, amperes. So it is not known how he, he could obtain <laughs> such a great energy, yes, it's yeah. a, by resonant, resonant effects. That's, huh? That is for sure. It might be obvious that yeah. he closed the electrical circuit between the, the sun transformer or something. The between the sun and the yeah. earth using the earth's magnetosphere. Oh, I see. So as a transformer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I mean this technique is not completely discovered. I mean, because he was working privately at that time and uh, he didn't uh, leave any explanation. Uh, only, only the technical details, but by technical details, you know, you, you cannot figure out if you don't have the same way of thinking. You cannot figure out what uh, two times uh, three means for him. Right? So it's only numbers. So. Also some, some descriptions, but uh, it is very different than uh, today's electromagnetic theory. Very different. Also the expression, so we need a kind of uh, uh, glossary, you know, for for understanding what Tesla meant. So you're, you're expecting the, the Large Hadron Collider experiments to come up with nothing? There won't be any grand unified theory or anything like that? It cannot. It, it can't. At the time by Tesla. Yeah, 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 exactly. It can't. Exactly. It's, it's because you know Tesla, for example, uh, could obtain uh, destructive interference on the nuclear, nuclear of the core, core or of the nucleus of the atom. Uh, so very, very high frequencies, uh, saying, literally saying, this is a, a secret, he said that uh, I used to split the atom without releasing any energy. What does that mean? So he could con uh, I mean, con um, continuate the atom, I mean, simply like, like you have a light interference, with the very, very, very high frequencies, you could do the same with a with a molecule with that with whole with the whole structure. I mean, if it consists of waves, what Tesla believed, also Newton said that all matter is light. 
but uh, uh, that, that is, I mean, nobody, also, also, ball lightning, mm -hmm. high frequency, low frequency, he could uh, couple those, so making ball lightning which is very stable. Nobody can reproduce that experiment today. People are trying, you have that, of course, in nature, as a yeah, natural phenomenon, but nature. you cannot control it because it's not clear how you can get it in, in the lab. So you have natural fusion, yeah. and uh, you don't have fusion in the lab. Obviously, no, so there's something wrong. There is yeah. something wrong. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> we need to learn. We have to understand. So that's a, it's a point of understanding. I mean, so so they are really avoiding Tesla in electricity factory. Sorry, on universities, they are avoiding as much as possible, taking only these rotating magnetic fields, these few patterns. So that you what you can learn at university and the rest. So who's stopping the archives from being opened up now? Like why can't we just... It's hard to say. Is it politics yeah. or...? Yeah. Is it like from some the class when he died, like many of the exhibits that were at his place, like were taken by the US Army and that served for like many later projects as, as a base? It's a lot here also, you know, maybe something was taken, but probably yes, because it was war in 1943. Mm. And one day after his death, he had already meeting, you know, scheduled a meeting with uh, with Eleanor, Eleanor Roosevelt in the White House. So he died like seventh of in between fifth of and seventh of January and eighth of January. He uh, he had to to meet. Then the, I mean Roosevelt and probably also Roosevelt himself because he was very much against the atomic uh, bomb project. Mm -hmm. oh, that's another. Thing. So what does Tesla leave for for the present time? Uh, so we live in a time when we are seeing the need for change. We are bombarded by television, by politicians who are uh, talking about change, change, change. So uh, Tesla's thought and the way he transformed the world and gave at least the uh, vision of, of free energy or um, energy that can be transferred to everyone without cost at the distance is something that can change the world and, and it's so the cosmic rays, but the, those, I mean, his uh, concept of cosmic rays is not the same as this concept. I mean, today's concept of cosmic rays. We call it ocean of energy, probably thinking on ether. So he, he had ether in mind. Which not is many, now kicked out from physics. So ether, you say ether, so no, does not exist. <laughs> One of his very interesting articles is named The Problem of Increasing Human Energy, <laughs> yes, yes. which is actually really not kind of scientific. In, in concrete meaning out of it, but he was talking about the ways to improve civilization. He was also writing about wars and why uh, wars start. And this yeah. actually is, is almost like a theory of consciousness. Also telling that you can uh, 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 synthesize uh, objects, I mean molecules and uh, atoms directly from the light, from light spectrum. How he meant, we don't know, but it is, uh, I mean, pretty precisely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because probably he, 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 he had in mind those, uh, the, those, those balls, ball lightning. Yeah. It is a structure which is very similar, I don't know, to galaxies or also to, to atomic structure, I mean, electrons which is going around the nucleus. 